Good morning, Moreau Hall Hawks. Today is Monday, May 18th, 2020. Yes, that is a cat doing dishes behind me. And we're going to get to that in just a minute. For now, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart and face the flag. One, two, three. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Bucket Fillers Pledge. One, two, three. I promise to do my best every day to be a bucket filler, not to dip and to use my lid for myself and others at home, at school, and everywhere I go. Hawks, I hope you had a great weekend. It was beautiful, beautiful weather out this weekend. Hopefully you got outside and had some fun. I actually saw a hawk circling overhead, and as I watched it fly on the on the warm air above me, I thought of all of you, all my hawks that I'm missing each day. Uh, so I hope you're doing well. Now, we do have a birthday today. Our friend Eli Price is celebrating his birthday, and I know Eli has been watching these morning announcements every morning with his mom uh, and, and making sure to participate in what uh, Mr. Higgins reports on, especially the Eat What You Want Day. He had a, a really massive ice cream sundae with an ice cream sandwich on top, which was really cool. And I know he's been dancing and enjoying himself, especially the Star Wars Day. Uh, and his giggles bring a smile to my face. So, Eli, we hope you have a fantastic birthday today. And, Eli, I don't know if you know this or not, but your teacher, Miss Police, had a birthday yesterday. And uh, it just so happens, I don't know if it was her 39th birthday or her 29th, but I can't keep track anymore. But happy birthday to Miss Police as well. Uh, so Miss Police, this cat doing dishes is for you. This cat reminded me of your cat Nugget, who I know your students are very fond of and had a, a flat nugget project uh, last week or two weeks ago that they enjoyed. Uh, so I have a cat here. I found this picture of this cat doing dishes because today happens to be no dirty dishes day. And I thought, oh, it just means do your dishes all day to make sure you have no dirty dishes. But in fact, it's a day to have no dirty dishes at all. So figuring out a way that you're not going to use water and, uh, and use you know, dishes in your house. So I don't know if you use paper plates instead or you eat over your hand. I'm not sure. But uh, I challenge you to go all day without any dirty dishes. I know in this house, during uh, this time, it's been tough to not have any dirty dishes. It seems like they stack up everywhere. So let's see what you can do. Today also happens to be Visit Your Relatives Day, which, my goodness, we can't do that either. I know I would love to visit my relatives, especially my parents or maybe my brothers, uh, my in-laws, my cousins, but we can't do that. So I was thinking maybe you can FaceTime with them or find a way to get in touch with them, have a phone call, or maybe write them a letter or uh, send them a postcard, that's always fun as well. And you can practice some writing while you do it. So say hi to your relatives for me, from me. Hi, relatives. Uh, I think that's it for today. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with some more announcements. Hawks, we love you, we miss you, and we'll see you soon. And maybe you have a cat or a dog in your house who'll do the dishes. I've tried to teach Zuzu, it's not working. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, Moreau Hall Hawks. Breaking news from the Moreau Hall News Desk. Uh, on Friday, we reported that Ruth Wakefield, the inventor of the chocolate chip cookie, happened to invent that cookie in Whitman, Massachusetts, right here in our home state. Little did we know that there was additional information about Ruth Wakefield. This news desk was inundated with emails over the weekend, two to be exact, stating that Ruth Wakefield, in fact, grew up and went to school in Easton, Massachusetts. Who knew? Well, I'll tell you who knew. Mrs. Whitup and Mrs. San Pietro. That's who knew, and that's who emailed this news desk to let us know. So Ruth Wakefield happened to grow up in Easton, Massachusetts. She went to school in Easton, Massachusetts, just like you, and she graduated from Oliver Ames High School, class of 1920, back when Oliver Ames High School was actually on Lincoln Street, which is now apartments. So if you drive by that big yellow building on Lincoln Street, that was the original Oliver Ames High School. That's all from today's Moreau Hall News Desk. Thank you so much to Mrs. Whitup and Mrs. San Pietro. And I'm sure a ton of second graders knew this as well, that Ruth Wakefield 
actually an Eastern resident. More news next time Mr. Higgins messes up. We'll see you tomorrow.